In the previous lecture, you learned about the object. Now is the time to introduce you about the most amazing thing and most amazing approach that I am using for many years. In order to do that, we need to come here again and identify what are the things that we can reuse with a single purpose class. I'm uh, referring a single purpose class as an utility, uh, so I call it a utility. For example, we can have utilities for uh, uh, color. Uh, as you can see, we have basic advanced premium and we have already identified our color scheme in our root and uh, we can use it uh, in all of our project and then we have because we are using it again and again not only in these headings we are using it here free 23 dollar and 40 dollar here and also you can see we have the uh, text transform text transform property uh, for this one this one and this one which is uppercase we can create that utility as well and then we have a border border for this one and this one is prim primary secondary and tertiary and we have a background color as well uh, and one more thing is that uh, if you notice we have uh, a text align center class as well uh, we are centering our the select text into the center here you can see that easily uh, so let's dive into the code and write some code about utilities uh, let me tell you utilities are very helpful in the code running and if you identify the thing as uh, in the starting of your project you are good to go you can create any sort of project and identify identify it in a very uh, focused way so uh, let's create some utilities uh, we have this one and i'm about to write the utilities okay uh, first uh, i'm about to write the utilities of colors text uh, primary you can use any sort of convention some people uh, add the prefix from uh, prefix of the project or some uh, add the u which is utility but i'm uh, very specific and uh, using the common practices which most of the frameworks are out there using uh, so uh, text primary we have this color color primary is color primary and then i am about to create text uh, secondary right and then color var color secondary and after that uh, i am moving towards the tertiary text tertiary and this is a color tertiary right so uh, we have just uh, created this uh, text utilities now uh, we can uh, as i said uh, I, you, I think you need to uh, you should also write down the as a temporary in a text file so that you will not forget uh, any of the utility clause in your project so for example i have write down text and now i will write about the back for the background and for background i'm copying this so that we mainly focus on the bg bg which is background and then here i'm adding the background color background color okay so we have background color some people add it important here in order to give it more priority but uh, like bootstrap views uh, important in their uh, utility classes but i'm uh, using uh, it as a common pattern so you get the actual idea what i'm about to teach and uh, after that we have a class for centering the text now i'm using text center class and text align center you can name whatever you desire you can use a prefix or whatever you can i'm about uh, i'm only showing you the idea what i do in my project uh, before moving towards the actual layout uh, as you can see we have created so far root settings universal reset and then created the objects 
and then moving towards the utilities which is very important here is the border class we can add uh, for the border primary and border secondary border cursory so what i can do is here is uh, it's here and i can add it here right so i'm about to use it to border border primary border secondary border tertiary here i can remove it actually this one this one and then add border also one pixel solid and uh, after that and uh, now all i need is to write the class for this one a text transform class uh, which is setting it to the uppercase so what i will do is text uppercase uppercase and set it to text transform uppercase that's it guys i think uh, it's enough at this stage for this uh, uh, utilities if we will have any repeatable tasks for the single purpose then we will add this into the utilities and we can reuse it in our, any of our code it should be very specific and for the single purpose uh, this place is a perfect way i think that's enough for this lecture i will see you in the next one